Good day, guys. Welcome back. So, um, there is a few things I want to just start talking about from the um, games com. I forgot, almost forgot the name. The first one I wanted to talk about was actually the Destiny 2 one. So, or Destiny, I believe it's either called Destiny or Destiny 2 um, one. Um, they seem to be doing a shitload of stuff on there. Um, a bit more stuff than I expected, but the big thing I wanted to actually talk about wasn't so much the, um, but what they were talking about. It was more about the, um, the chat that I saw afterwards on the, um, when I was watching on GameSpot's, um, when they put it on their video, there seemed to be a lot of negative, um, talking. So yeah, I don't understand how people could think like that. I mean, they're comp saying it's going to be crap when they actually haven't played the expansion, or one of the expansions, I mean. It's known as the, I forgot what actually it's called. Hmm, that's interesting. I've forgotten the new game, but it's not even out yet, guys. I don't think it's due for a while, so Destiny 2... Alright, I can't remember what the game's called, guys. It's, um... That's a disappointing, um... Yeah, there's a new expansion coming out, guys, and I just can't remember the name of it for whatever reason. It's probably me, because I've got a tendency of forgetting, um... The Final Shape, that's what it's called. The U7, The Final Shape, guys. Now... I was actually just looking at the uh, Wikipedia. I didn't realise how many expansions they had. Now, um, here's the thing. The thing that put me off Destiny 2 was how they done with their um, expansion. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so this is the Wikipedia page, as you can see. Um, so they're talking about the game in general. But the main thing I want to talk about was down here, the expansions. Now, you probably see Forsaken. Um, Probably wondering what happened to the pre the base game and I think the two other expansions that came afterwards. They kind of took that out, which really pissed me off. It really turned me off Destiny 2, sorry. But yeah, I was really disappointed. Once they took that out, my interest in Destiny really took a nose dive because I think it was an important like story part of it. I mean, theoretically, it's not really um, a big in-game thing but it's a story part of it i was more interested in and they took it out which is i think was the stupidest thing ever and that's when i lost love for destiny i stopped playing it around about i think it was beyond light just before that came out so uh yeah i was really disappointed but um after they were doing the showcase for this one and i think i did a little bit for light four um a lot of the negative things that people were thinking and saying about it is pretty i don't know for me it doesn't fit right because the idea is they, they're talking about a game that's not out yet. Or a DLC in this case that's not out yet. Now they are talking about a lot of new stuff. And then so much stuff I couldn't even put in this video if I wanted to. Because I don't remember a lot of it. I don't, I've got a bad tendency of not running things down. Which I should be doing in the future guys. So hopefully that will come in. Um, but yeah there's a lot to do on here. But one thing they are supposed to be doing. This is supposed to be the last DL major DLC, which I doubt that very much. I reckon it's just saying that for the fun of it. So I'm not sure if that means that it's going to be a Destiny 3. Um, yeah, 3. Um, that would have been better than this personally, because I believe number 2 has got so bloated with so many DLCs, it's kind of wrecked the, um, the game itself. So I reckon if you're going to do a game, you shouldn't do any more than 4 major DLCs, and maybe 8 small ones. That's how I feel like it should work, because I feel like you, you just, you're playing the one game constantly over and over, over. it's going to get bloated, it's going to be very big in file size, it's just going to, and then at the end of the day, it's going to start getting to a point where it's not offering much. I think a Destiny 3 would be a better one, I mean, uh, that would be nice if they could combine, combine the, like, the first two, like Destiny, some story from Destiny 1, not the whole, sort every single story, but now maybe just cut out certain ones, but. You know, do a general, um, like a catch-up thing. And then that'll be like the first part of it. So you could do like a um, Destiny 3 with the, um, a lot of the Destiny 1 missions, and including the um, DLCs. And then you do a, a second one, which you can include a lot of Destiny 2, um, with some of their main mission, their main DLCs. Um, not all of the DLCs, obviously, because that can be a bit uh, troublesome. And then you can start, like maybe... A bit further down the track, you can start doing the, their own game, or you can kind of do both. Like, do the DLC, uh, the main part of the, um, Destiny 3, 
as long as the um, previous games. So that's just ideas that I'm thinking of that would be be beneficial. And if they do it right, they could actually make the game like more. Um, so you, you wouldn't need number one or number two. You can just go straight to number three, and number three will pretty much have everything you'll need to catch yourself up. So it doesn't need to be as detailed as one and two, but you get the idea. Yeah, that's my thoughts, guy. I don't know what you guys think. What do you think Destiny should do? Um, should I continue to with all the DLCs? Um, should I? Do you reckon this should be the last one and move on to Destiny Three with new ideas and stuff? Um, I think there's a lot of people who are really on the fence about this. Oh, the the um, chat I saw wasn't very positive. It was actually quite negative. So, um, yeah, for me personally, guys, I will basically wait and see. That's how I work. I will not make an assumption until I play the damn game. Or see some decent gameplay at least. Um, I can make a, a guess, but that's only if there's a, game, a good amount of gameplay on it. They didn't really show too much gameplay, so I'm not going to make an assumption right yet. I'm not going to make my thoughts out yet, guys. I will make it once there's a decent amount of information about it or gameplay. And when I get my hands on it, I will... So guys, what do you think? Is it going to be worth it? Um, let me know in the comments and we're out of here. Cheers.